Hey, we're here on the east aspect uh, above Stanton Lake, right at the side of a storm slab that appears to have run naturally during this last storm cycle that ended on Monday. Uh, we noticed some chunks of debris from where we dug a pit in the upper part of this avalanche path. So we thought we'd ski down to see if there was evidence of a crown line and to get a better picture of what this uh, avalanche might have failed on. So we des descended only about 500 vertical feet from the top. And when inspecting this crowd line, what we noticed is that this avalanche failed on a rain crust that's about two to three feet below the surface. Now this particular rain crust was absent in our pit up top, which was at about 6,200 feet, which makes sense because a lot of our observations have been hitting that the freezing level fluctuated around 5,500 feet during this last storm cycle. Uh, we also found a similar grapple layer above this crust uh, here at the crown line as well as in our pit up top. So when we're in and amongst these complicated storm systems of warm Pacific air coming over the west, interacting with a cold front over the divide, uh, it's really important to evaluate what elevation these rain crusts are, are forming as well as where they're going away but we also need to keep that in the back of our mind for when we're descending a slope. Because if you had been skiing the slope, even though it's only 500 vertical feet from where you typically think a start zone would be, triggered the slope down here where this rain crust exists. Due to the constricting nature of this terrain, it might have been very challenging to try to ski out and get to a safe spot um, and could have eventually taken you for quite a ride in this channelized terrain below us.